and welcome. This is Melissa with the Stock Swishing and Reviewing Facebook. What a what a nice move in this. Yesterday and today as well. And we're going to review it here right now because I did call an option trade this morning to buy the Facebook puts, uh, the 160 strike. And it did not get to 160 today, but it was a very profitable trade. And, you, you know, really... I didn't see any reason not to book the money today. But I will tell you that Facebook still potentially could move lower. And if Facebook drops and breaks 160, it's going to fall off a cliff. So I don't know if that happens. But I saw the trade today. I called it. And I'm just going to give you an example. If you had bought the puts today at the time that I called it, they cost around 230 240 wherever you got filled. And you could have sold it today for over 4 420 430 you could have sold it today. So it was basically a flip around say for example you had risked for four grand you could have made four grand if you risked five grand you could have made five grand or thereabouts depending on where you got filled in and out but that's a good trade it's a it's a good trade for a day trade it's a good trade for an option trade and i'm going to go over it because this had an option in it yesterday too but i didn't call it i was busy and i ended up looking at the day trade in the last two days but you know one thing is true that when you get these high flyers that have a lot of momentum volatility you can do them as day trades and options but the most the best the biggest the best moves you get from stocks that are gapping but the gap has to rate well so i rated the gap per my system using the 26 point rating system and the gap rated over 20 points yesterday and today which is why it was a short today and yesterday so I just want to show you here that when I looked at this this morning, and what I really, really liked about it was the fact that it had it had selling action yesterday, pulled the market down, all the tech stock fell, but also I think Facebook is very unique and very specific. Facebook is on its own now. There's negative news out there on it. It's fallen hard. And I just want to go back and look and see what the power of the gap is so you understand. The night before all this happened, the stock closed at the high. Well, it closed at 184.09, close to the high. And the low this, this today, whatever point it was, whatever time it touched it, was 161.95. So Facebook essentially lost $25 in the last 48 hours. That is just huge, people. So, I mean, that signifies that the stock had massive selling action in it, in the gap and in the live day, both days. And you can't ignore that. So people love to buy dips. They love to do whatever. It's just dumb People that were day traders bought this this morning, bought it probably even in the drop off this afternoon as a climactic play. I did not do it. It is the wrong thing to do. Facebook was a short today and a short yesterday. And, and until I say otherwise, it still looks like it might be lower. But it's not in a downtrend. It is still holding the uptrend. When will it make the break? Will it make the break? I don't know. I mean, don't worry about it. You play the moves of the trades that I call it and you make the money and you get out. And so today was a perfect example of you take it, you get the move, you get out. But there are so many people that buy these bounces into the 200 pair moving average, which was a disaster yesterday if you did it. And then also today here as well, or this morning. So Facebook is in no means a long at all. And you will learn this if you come and take my Golden Gap course. And if you sign up for the options letter, you're not going to learn how I figure out the gaps. You will get the trades emailed to you directly. You take them like Facebook today when I sent it out. And you have to manage them yourself with the exits. But but the, every trade I call, every trade I look at, every trade I take, everything that I see, which is mostly, by the way, in the pre-market, before the open, which I saw Facebook today and yesterday in the pre-market, is based on what are institutions doing? Are they buying the gap? Are they selling the gap? What are they doing? And I will tell you that Facebook should have moved higher here. And I called a bunch of longs not going to go into detail but some of the tech stocks here in this period and they all moved facebook didn't facebook lagged it lagged it lagged it lagged i'm not saying that was that was why this did this but it was almost like a sign it was almost like a sign because facebook wasn't going and it should have gone and everything else was going and this didn't and then the news came out and boom and now here it is here tonight so Facebook was a great option. It's called just, just a great day trade. I mean, if you listen to the room this morning, I taped the live room. I mean, what a great call today in this. Um, just, just a great call. So congratulations to everyone that did it. Whether you did the option of the day trade, open houses the rest of the week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Thursday, I will not be in the room. I will be on TV. Wednesday and Thursday, I'll be running the room as far as I know it. Open house either way. Gyro's helping, and it's going to be a really good earning season. Classes this weekend, 
you want to sign up for the class, it's Saturday and Sunday, 24th and 25th, 9 to 5 Eastern Time. If you don't have time to do the class or day trade, then the options letter is another suitable way for you to make money as a trader. You just get the calls in your email box and you take them when I get, give them. And you got to manage your exits. So I think it's important to learn the system, but if you really don't have time, you can sign up for the options letter. It's $2,999 and the class is $54.99. Congratulations again, everyone. Huge trade in Facebook today. And I have no idea where this ends up being tomorrow morning, but actually here, let's look at this right now. This is down. Let's look at this right now. That's why you do not buy this. People bought it. Look, look, it's down almost $2 here in the post market. Nope, that is on its own. Yeah, I don't know. This is really interesting. So we'll keep watching Facebook. Plays are flat here now today, and we'll see what happens. And uh, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. If you'd like more information, look at the volume in that today, people. Look at that. Let me just check something out. All right, have a good night, everyone.